What is up, guys? This is Crazy Blackman 108 here. I'm back from another video. Uh, because of some rearranging and some uh, making some more space in my house in terms of uh, like my Star Wars stuff that takes up basically this whole room for one. But even though it's on the wall, but then I got bins full of stuff as well. And since we're putting a lot of it into storage, I thought, you know what, before this gets into storage and gets to the point where, like, if I want to pull it out, it's like, no, 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 no. I'm not pulling it out. <laughs> I thought I'd show you all it now. So this is one tub in particular. There's going to be many jump cuts in this video. I will say it right now. But this is one tub that has a mixture of stuff. We got some stuff from uh, 2003. We got Legacy Collection in here from uh, the, during the original Clone Wars uh, run. This is Princess Leia. This is from the uh, scene on the medical frigate. Uh, but yeah, I mean, I got a lot of stuff in this bin in itself. Then there's Legacy Collection. Uh, I can't. This was the last set of Legacy Collection before we went to Vintage. And this is going down. I can tell on the side. This is Luke. That's Slave Leia. That's uh, Job. That's I can't remember what his name is, but that's the. Uh, Oh, what's it called? Jabba, not Jabba the Hutts. Um, the Rancor's Cors Master. I forget his actual name. Was it Malik Malikai? Yeah. Kyle Foss. Got Chewbacca. Ugnot. Plo Koon. A at at driver or ATAT -AT driver. R two D two. Got Snow Luke. Got a yeah. This is a. Snurd at that job. That, oh, that's right. That's the variation on it. This is the Rob McCory, a uh, concept art one. Uh, one of the best men guards. That's the Han. The has the uh, stormtrooper armor. I mean, so yeah. I mean, here's an R2 unit. This is a uh, R2 X2. I love looking at all my old Star Wars stuff. I can't wait to when I can get some of these reviews back on the channel, guys. Would be nice. Back on the Star Wars known. Boss, let's see, this is from 2004's <laughs> original trilogy collection. Now, that this is old. I mean, look at the articulation on this guy, though. I mean, there really is none. But, one thing I will say, compared to what's, what's going to be the new, uh, the new Saga Legends line, that's like five points of articulation for five dollars. I mean, cool, that's, you know, it's a good price. Man, this guy has like maybe a little bit more than five points for articulation, but at least the quality is still there. I mean, the quality has real, I don't know, just fix, as long as you fix your problems by the time of episode seven, I'm not going to be, be bothered too much. But, uh, yeah, so this is one tub, guys. Let's, uh, let's move on to the, now this tub right here is a tub that, uh, when all said and done, I might change, yikes, <laughs> I might change a little bit of what I have placed in here. Because uh, this is from a 12-inch. Like Again, 12-inch is horrible right now. I mean, I don't even know why they brought it back. If they're going to do such a... It looks like a soap bottle. This was a rope from Mr. Char R2-D2. Uh, here's the original 12-inch console. Not like Kenner 12-inch. Well, actually, no. It might have been... This might have been Kenner, but not like Kenner. Like, they're like old, old Kenner. Now, this is the original Kenner Millennium Falcon. Uh... Let's see, I can snap that in right there. Not nearly as nice as the uh, new one, of course, but it's still cool. And that's the ARC-170. This is the one from Revenge of the Sith. I got pilots in there. See, pieces like this are ones that I want to... I'm about to change how... Like, I think what I'm going to do is this tub's going to be full of mostly uh, the Kenner vehicles that I have. So, yeah, we still might change this just a tiny bit. See, when I'm talking about a tub that I'm going to rearrange, I mean, it gets harder because I'm looking at, like, what's in here. And these two, it's like I got to make select few choices because some of this stuff I can use, like, in stop motions. But, I mean, I guess if I really needed that back, I can go into storage and grab it. But the thing is, is I mean, look what's in here right now, okay? I got two tubs I'm trying to see get a good mix of stuff. Well, on this one... I got 12 inch C3PO. This is one of my favorite ones. This one could talk. Let's see if the battery still works. C3PO, human cyborg relations. Let's see. There we go. 2D2, where are you? 
And this thing was just really cool. And see, I don't know if this used to be more gold or not. On the back, it appears to be more gold compared to the front. But yeah, I mean, like, this, I, I can just need to put in a 12-inch bin. But then you get grab this right here. This is Anakin's uh, Jedi 2B Jedi Starfighter, all right? That's something that's rather new. Here's Ahsoka's. And heck, that even has her lightsaber in it. Here's Obi-Wan's. That has his lightsaber in it. Then you look at the rest of this tub. You got the skiff from Return of the Jedi. Uh, got some broken... Oh, yeah, this used to be a game. But my dad, I remember, ended up because the game was stupid. He ended up cutting the pieces off. He turned this into like a pod race with other pieces somewhere. This goes to the Rebel Blockade Runner, which is in here. That's this thing right here. And since I don't use this, I might as well. I mean, this is one thing that I like. I could put up. Like I don't, I don't see much use for that. Uh, this is one of the droid starfighters. Like we got the. I forget what these things are called. It's just a mind loss right now. Oops, so here's the rest of the pod racer. But let's let's move over here to this one. You got the. Uh, Vintage, well not vintage, it was the original trilogy collection re-release of the original mold for the Kenner Jedi Starfighters. Jedi Starfighter, wow. X-Wings, not Jedi Star. I was looking at that one right there. X-Wings. Now this thing I can put up, I don't care if I don't have this sitting out. I mean this thing is just cool to see it repainted and re-released one time. That was pretty cool to have. Especially if you look at the, how the Archie unit is, that's just kind of funny to me. Now see, here's just the 2B, I mean... It might be 2A or 2B Jedi Starfighter right here. This thing, like I can put this up, but sometimes still I like to use this in a, you know, comparison if I'm using the 2B Starfighter and then you got this one. But then again, if I would need to do that, I can use old ones that's right there. But then here's here Anakin's uh, Jedi Starfighter. The one that he made all the modifications to, the, the uh, one that was in the original Clone Wars series. This is a cool Jedi Starfighter. I'm just going to be honest. This thing is cool, but set that there. That thing's seen better days. I wish it would have the re-release back with the original Clone Wars. I mean, with the when the Clone Wars movie came out in 2008. Here's the first Jedi Starfire that was ever released. Obi Wan's got an A-wing. Here we go. <clears throat> Here's some vintage I can put up. This is a, a land speeder. Luke's land speeder from the Kenner. T days and that's I don't know where my other ones are but this one isn't nearly as good as you know newer ones so this thing I'm definitely gonna put right in here depending on how all these videos goes I might have to put this into part two this might still be as part one not sure I see a piece like this I'm just gonna drop that in here because I believe I have no need for it uh that I'll just, I'll keep that out let me see what else is in there See, here's a, I think this is like Jedi Force or something like that. That might be the new live of Rebel Heroes. Something like that. Darth Vader. That's probably going to go somewhere. I think here's all the new TIE Fighters. This just might, this might just have to suffer and get taken out. Here's the rest of Anakin Starfighter though. So that's cool. But yeah. No, before I forget, in this one I got two Slave 1s. I have the Episode 2 Slave 1. I have the episode, uh, the original trilogy collection version of Slave 1, which is the same model as this one, just, you know, the right paint deco. There's a, uh, Jawa Sand crawl Crawler. Two Naboo Starfighters. I thought there was a clone in here. Yep, 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 see that? Look, who's that? Who is that? That's a clone. That is a clone. If we would focus, that's a clone. Yeah, see, that's, that's what I need to go in here before, while well, we're in the focus, my bad. That's why I need to go in here before I do stuff. Now, see, the rookie, he's just, he'll stay there. This, this thing, I think it does this or something. If I grab it here, it's supposed to, everything's supposed to, if I have everything popped out. Let's see, it's supposed to be like, like that's, like you saw in the, like, that two-second scene, Revenge of the Sith. Yay! It's a rookie flying. Got a gun in the back. <laughs> kind of cool, but yeah. Next tub, let's figure out what's in here. Now, there's some things I can see already that um, just have to rearrange some tubs to figure out what's going to go where. Rancor, yeah, that's cool. He can probably go up. There's just two 
uh, speeder bikes in there. Here's a third speeder bike. Hey, here's a 12-inch R2-D2. It's missing that piece. That's not good. All right. We got a, oh, look, a clone inside the ship. Why am I not surprised? And it's missing its top gun. Slightly. Hey. We'll put that right there. 12 inch Chewbacca. Well, that's when they had Chewbacca the right size phone. This was in the, uh, vin not vintage, uh, the original trilogy collection. There's a C3PO head. Now here's a. Uh, air speeder. I don't know what that, what else you'll call that, but these are pretty cool. Hey, a snow speeder. I can use that for an upcoming plan if the snow stays long enough. Jabba the Hut, not the best. Uh, destroy the car. Destroy droids. Speeder bike, one of the old bad ones. I might need that. Boa. We got the uh, ATSTs. No, that's the uh, that's with the Imperials. Uh, I forget what the separatists called for this episode. Ooh, see, look, we got Luke. I guarantee you that's Dak. Let's see. Dak, Dak, you all right? Hey, Dak, hey, you, you, yeah, it's Dak. You can tell by the blue symbol on the helmet. It's Dak and Luke. And it wouldn't help hurt to buy a new sand speeder either. I mean, snow speeder. Okay, the third tub. This is a uh, rather, uh, I don't know if I would say easier or harder. Not sure, because we have a couple items in here that uh, need to be addressed. So, uh, first off, we got this, like, turbo tank. That's not even the real turbo tank. If I get 80 bucks, God so help me, I will buy the new tur the old turbo tank if I feel obliged with the time. This is going to go here. Even though it's not, like, Kenner vintage, it's all right. Uh, unless, see, I'm going to try to fit as many things as I can in, this, in one tub. Now, see, this is... One of those like Jedi Force or Jedi Heroes uh, vehicles that they came out with. Originally, this back when it was uh, just Star Wars preschool. That's an X-wing. That's just gonna go right there. And I see here's Zan Weasel's speeder. There's ooh, see Obi Wan's Jedi Starfire from Episode Three. See, I don't see. I have a special place for Jedi Starfires because I just don't want to like. I like these things so much. Is it wrong if I'm 16 and like want to go start playing with these right now? Someone in the comments gonna say yes, yes it is. <laughs> no, but uh, let's see. Okay, now see, here's another land speeder. This one, if I just, I'm gonna just fold that up. If I can get the lock in, yep. That's gonna go in here. See, this isn't just be called re reorganizing these tubs, cause by now I'm just. Here's one of the original Kenner ones. This is just go right on top. <sighs> yep, I think that's a, that's. No, three stripes. Is that Reg? R Rogue three. I think that's Wedge. I'm not sure. Have an uh, ATST Grievous's speeder bike. Now this is a Kenner uh, Y wing. Funny thing about this. Fun fact. There's three of them in here. So I'm just gonna leave them like that. But this one fits. Like like a problem with these Y wings was the fact that they wouldn't be able to stand up for a long or extended periods of time. This one can stand up for the longest. And not fall over. It's so weird. And not only that, this is the only one that has a slot to put an actual droid in. Now, I don't know if it only fits the Kenner size droids. And since I don't have an R2 unit just sitting around me, I'm not going to be able to try it out. But, it's weird. The, the oldest one is the best one, you know? So, it leads me to question, if it's not broke, don't fix it. So, don't know why they did anything. Is there a droid? Yeah, look at that. There's a droid in there. Okay. Next. And then here, like, see, with this tub in particular, half of this stuff got, like, water damage, because this one was, like, way, way, way there in the back, like, over there in that corner. But, uh, there's some water coming in from the roof. But anyway, I don't, that's not really important right now. What's important is, hey, Black Cat. No, what's important is the fact that, uh, we have some really old Power of the Force stuff in here. We got the battle packs that were unleashed. These are pretty cool. I know these were, like, a fan favorite for a while. We got the Clone Wars 2003 series in there. We got some Revenge of the Sith. Does R2 talk? Nope, R2 does not talk. The batteries are dead inside the box. Wow. We got a uh, uh, Tri Droid. Even though that thing was way. Well, no, there were some smaller ones, so yeah, that's fine. This is uh, number one on Revenge of the Sith. No, number two. Number one was Obi Wan. But yeah, anyway, very cool to see. 
Let's see, here's even another band full of Star Wars stuff right here. And then we have, like, you see the Power of the Force. You got, uh, let's see, this is, yeah, Power of the Force as well. Has some of those, uh, titanium figures in there. Had that 2003 Boba Fett in there. Uh, let's see what else I got. We have, oh, if you look back here, you got the Target exclusive Darth Vader. That's without the, uh, bubble case around it, but that's alright. This has been a real older stuff, as you can see. We also got Revenge of the Stiff there as well. I think Revenge of the Stiff maybe does the whole bottom row, just about. Is that an X Wing in there? That's a, no, that's a uh, old Battlestar Galactica. Very cool though. Still, very cool. A lot of stuff in here. A lot of old Star Wars stuff. Alright, this is the last tub that's upstairs, at least, that has uh, unopened figures in it. Now, this set of figures right here is my favorite. This is when. Uh, Hasbro, and before they did a whole vintage collection, they just did a little series of it during the 2006, uh, t I think from 2004, they didn't do it during Revenge of the Sith, but then during the Saga Legends, and then the uh, 30th anniversary, like 2006, 2007, and 2004, they did a release of uh, figures that were like about five or six figures, and they put them in these cases like this. And then they were uh, vintage figures. They were, uh, if you see, the next example I can give someone is like right there. Okay, so we start start right there. All those were originally in a packaging. Those were sealed in the packaging. All those, those are you know some of the later newer newer vintage. But then you'll see there's three Han Solos. Those that one right there is the new one. New one that was the original vintage uh, release that Hasbro did, like in 2007. So we got like 3PO in here, we have Lando, Yoda. This is the coolest Yoda. I've never gotten to open this Yoda up, so I don't know how good of a figure it is, but just so cool. R2D2, we got the Mole Mighty Chewbacca, we got Boba Fett, we have Luke Skywalker. I think below that's Darth Vader, and that's all we have inside this one. But there's also a Han Solo from New Hope. There's a Princess Leia from New Hope. But yeah, and then we got some Episode 1 figures in here. Almost some more of those Clone Wars ones. Power of the Force. A whole bunch of Star Wars stuff, just all real cool. The Princess Leia was like this one, but uh, way better quality than that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah.